Hi, it's me again. Guess what? That video stopped. We accidentally hit a button that we shouldn't have hit and it stopped in the middle. I was done reading from our Bible card, Water from a Rock, but I was going to ask you a couple questions. So I'm going to finish our video right now with those questions and our Easter learning too. So I was asking you, do you think that we get water from a rock? Not usually, but God can do anything. And God did a miracle by allowing Moses to tap the rock and get water to come from the rock so that all the people would have something to drink because they were getting very thirsty and there was no other water. So I, I just want you to know that God can do miracles and sometimes does. And in the Bible, we learn about some of those miracles, okay? So that's our Bible story for today. There's a couple of questions. What did Moses hit against the rock to get water? Do you remember? He hit his walking stick. He tapped the rock with his walking stick. And the second question, who went with Moses to get water from the rock? Who went with him? Some of the leaders from the group, some of the um, adults that were helping him lead the group went with him to the rock. Okay? All right. So I wanted to talk with you a little bit more about Easter because Easter's coming up this weekend. And remember I told you that Easter is about new life. I'm going to read the Easter story one more time for you. And I want to talk with you about Jesus for a minute. I don't know if you remember seeing this. Um, I think I'll bring my board back out so you can see it better. This cross on the wall in the school, it hangs up kind of by where the guitar hangs, but up higher on the wall. And this is a cross that Jesus died on a cross like this. And this is um, a cross to show us Jesus hanging on this cross. So Jesus and God live in heaven right now. Uh, they are always in your heart and they love you and they are um, always um, taking care of us and looking down on us and we can pray to them. But did you know that Jesus also lived on the earth a long time ago? And when he lived on the earth, he was born as a baby and grew up and became a man, just like all of us. And he was always talking with people about God's love and what God wanted people to do. Hold it up. And he was talking with people about God a lot. And there was people at his time that didn't like that and didn't like him. And they were very... Um, mean and angry people and they killed Jesus and he died on the cross. They hung him on a cross with nails. They put nails through his hands and through his feet and he died. And Easter is about that time when Jesus died on the cross, but three days later, he wasn't dead anymore. He rose from the dead and he became alive again. And that is not something that we can do, but that is something Jesus did because he is God with God. They are both God together. So he can do that. And that's what we celebrate at Easter. So I wanted to show you this cross. I haven't taken it down from the wall to show you yet. I hope you can see it. And I'm also going to show you it comes off like this. This one does. And I can put it up for you to look at while I'm reading the story. Okay, so I'm gonna set that right over here and read the story to you one more time. <clears throat> There's a good reason why we think about eggs at Easter because they help us think about new life. Sometimes new life comes out of an egg, like a brand new baby chick. On Easter, we remember some promises Jesus made to us Here's a story about the Easter promises. After Jesus died on the cross, his friends put his body in a tomb that had a huge rock for a door. And they thought, Jesus is gone forever. So do you remember me telling you the tomb is like a cave and it can be inside of a big hill or a big rock. And they found a, a tomb 
that had an opening for them to put Jesus' body inside. And then this big rock, they could push it in front of the opening and make it like a door so that they could seal up the cave afterward. At three days later, after they had put him in the tomb, Jesus' friend Mary Magdalene went to visit the tomb and found a strange thing. The rock door had been moved. Mary ran to get two of the disciples. They came back with her and looked inside the tomb, and they saw that Jesus' body was gone. Well, Jesus said he would rise to life, new life after three days, they said. Could it be true? They went home to think about it. Mary Magdalene stayed outside of the tomb and cried because she was missing Jesus so much. All of a sudden, Mary Magdalene heard a little rustling sound behind her. And when she turned around, there was a man standing there. Who are you looking for, Mary? He asked. She knew that voice. Mary wiped the tears from her eyes and said, Jesus. Jesus told her, go and tell my friends that I have risen to new life, as I promised. Mary ran all the way to where the disciples were. At first, they didn't believe her. But then they said, Jesus made us a promise. He said he would rise to new life so he could go and prepare a place for us in heaven. Jesus wouldn't break a promise. Later, when the disciples had all gathered together in a room, Jesus came to them and made another promise. He said, I will be with you always. And those are promises that Jesus makes to us too, that we will have new life in heaven and that he will be with us forever. And those are promises we celebrate at Easter. So that's it for today, kids. Thanks for learning with me. Thanks for working hard on your worksheets. I hope you have a great Easter, and I will see you again next week for some more learning. Bye-bye.